Hey guys, hope you're alright. So I'm going to quickly do a getting ready with me kind of video once again. So I'm just going to quickly do my hair and do a quick simple face routine. And yeah, it's nice and sunny today so you can see this video properly. And I hope everyone's well and everyone's so fine. I'm going to do my hair first. And I've taken out my oh. extension. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. Update on my hair. I trimmed it nicely and um yeah i was gonna cut into a bob but my mum said not to so yeah it's just been trimmed now and i'm just gonna have it all back i'm not gonna do nothing special because i never really do anything special with my hair i normally have it in a high bun but i don't feel like having it high today so i'm just gonna have it low Combing it out. I'm going to use my tangle teaser because it just smooths it out and gets into all the short areas that were not obviously brushed or combed properly. So, comb that all down nice and flat. My hair feels a bit wet. I think I kind of wet in the shower and I normally like a smooth a smooth ponytail I don't like like that messy look so I'm gonna have a smooth ponytail and for those that were asking in my old getting ready with me video that was my hair and this is my hair I just my I have a lot of baby hairs and my hair starts like there so it makes my forehead even more bigger than it already is but yeah this is my hair it's not the longest or the best but yeah I look like a kid without my extensions just, am I the only one that feels that way um yeah I don't really like it so I want to use some edge control to neaten up my edges I suppose most of you probably know what edge control is I'm just going to yeah smooth it out and I always like to do my hair before my makeup so that it doesn't cake onto my hair when I use this if that makes any sense and yes I know probably don't look the same without makeup no one does so yeah save them as comments um yeah just smoothing out my edges <laughs> That's how I'm going to have it. I don't know whether to have this in a bun or leave it down. Meh. Uh, whatever. Anyway, pencil. It's an eyebrow pencil. And it's only a pound. It's really affordable. I used to use Spike by Mac, but I feel this. It's just the same thing, so I don't see why I should spend like nine pounds if you just spend a pound of this. And this one is more creamy. I'm just gonna use this. I need my mirror because I can't see it's too the camera's too far away. I can't yeah, I can't reach so it. I'm gonna use that clear stick by Mac because this helps tame it down because my eyebrow hair is like bushy and always everywhere naturally. So this helps it to hold it down and stick to your face a bit more. Gonna hold it down with this. My Makeup Forever Foundation, and this is in the shade 75. It's the matte velvet, and this uploaded in January and mostly December has been this foundation has been the makeup for real for those that have been asking it's my favorite foundation and I have got a foundation video that I've uploaded with all the different foundations that I have talking about them but I my voice was really low so I'm gonna record it again and then put it out there so yeah this is the makeup forever and it's just fantastic it's a pea size you know that you can see is not a lot really. I don't know. 
when my face feels dry. I put moisturiser and everything, but I just feel so dry today. So now I'm going to apply it with my e.l.f. powder brush. So yeah, I'm going to put that on my face. Like so. On my eyes. And then buff it in so it's nice and smooth and in your face really. Mm. Mm. And it has a natural glow to the skin, even though it's called the matte one, it has a natural glow, it makes my skin look nice and glowy. I think blending perfectly. It's not too heavy. A little goes a, a long way with this one. And then on my forehead. This way. Bring it down, just a pea size to your neck so it has that nice transition, not that ooh, makeup. No makeup, you don't want that. So I want to add some concealer. You don't have to do this. I wanted to do this because I feel I have dark under eyes. So under my eyes are dark. I don't know if I'm being paranoid, but I feel that way. So yeah, I'm going to use some concealer. I'm going to use only one today. I don't feel like using two under my eyes, I mean. And I'm actually going to use brush, and this is actually the pointed foundation I'm going to use that for my I'm going to use the same NC50. And yeah, this is, oh my god, these brushes are amazing. I've been using them since, when did I get them? Sometime in December, I think. Or was it November? And they are so amazing. If you want me to do a favourites video, do let me know, so you know what I've been loving in the past month. Or so. So now I'm going to contour. You don't have to do this. I'm using the Pro Long Wear in the shade NW40. Yes, concealer. I just obviously I hate my big nose and this, you know, it makes it appear a bit smaller than it actually is. I just hate my nose. It's so big, but hey, it's the way I was made. I can't change it. So all I can do is just work with it. Not instead of being upset about the way it looks. I like to put my blush, take it higher so it has a contour effect, instead of just applying it on the apples of my cheek. The real techniques, brush it once again. And I'm going to use MAC in Deep Dark. I'm going to use this under my eyes. I really like dramatic eyeliners in your face and this is just what I like this is not what everyone else has to like this is what I prefer like I said I have big massive eyes so I need to have eyeliner on at least anyways And I'm going to wing it out a little bit. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Vanity Palette. I'm using the gold there. Yeah, you can see it a bit better now. I'm using that in my tear duct area. And I'm using the Real Technique brush, the really tiny one. It's called the Detail Brush. 
I feel so tiny so it's able to get in the little corners which I normally can't reach. My card is full so I have to rush this. I'm obviously going to use my day to night mascara. And for those that have been asking me on my bottom lashes, I don't put on fake lashes. But they've all been just this mascara. It's been my natural lashes. I can't put on fake lashes at the bottom line. I'll cry. So yeah, I just apply loads and loads and loads of coats for them to stand out more. Um... For the lips today, I want some pink, 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 pink. blossom by BH Cosmetics, and it's like a pinky um, color. Mm. If you want to know more about them, mail these. I'll leave them the information down below. I love pink. If you know me, you know I love pink. So I'm gonna add. This is actually Girl About Town, it's really deep and it's like my favourite lipstick in the whole wide world. But I'm not going to make it a bit harsh, I want to dab it on so it's not too harsh. I'm not too loud. So oh, my battery's actually going to die, I'm trying to rush this. <laughs> information about the products I left or use down below and I hope you guys have so a nice day. So if you do like day. it, do thumbs up so I know that you do and I'll do more in the future. So I hope you guys are alright and um, I shall speak to you guys later. Bye!